everybody. Welcome back to the next part of Hotel Dusk. So in the game right now it's 640 and from 7 to 9 we can use the TV lobby, uh, TV and the lobby. Um, so we're getting close to that uh, time frame. We uh, just turned, we turned the bookmark to summer. We gave the ragdoll back to Melissa. In the last video we found Melissa in the room, uh, across from her room, uh, locked in there by herself. We weren't able to get her out. from anybody. video. Yep, she's still in there. Just gonna say the same stuff. Yeah, I don't know how we're supposed to get her out of there. And we tried to find her dad, but he didn't answer the door. need to go to a certain spot and we'll just run into somebody. But sometimes when you do this you'll, uh, you'll get somebody to talk to you. I don't think we can go here yet. No, okay. Let's go downstairs, look for Lewis maybe. someone didn't tell me about before I try to open it. Let's make some saves. Lox's door. Let's try to go through the kitchen. Rose is probably going to freak out.
through this door yet. Yeah, it's locked. Got a minute? What is it? Mr. Hyde, I have a ton of work to do. I can't chat now. Busy, busy, busy. Fine. There's Lewis. See if he'll talk. Hey, Lewis. Huh? What, man? Is room 218 make it tonight? Yeah, it's been out of whack for a while. Damn switchboards on the blink, so we got no power in there. That's why. Ah, oh, damn. I forgot to lock the door. What's wrong? I went in there to get some stuff and forgot to lock up. Oh, no big deal. I'll take care of it in a bit. Too late. What? You did it for me? Hey, thanks, brother. No, you idiot. It's too late to lock the door. <laughs> Melissa locked herself in there. What? You ain't serious. That's a bad scene right there. It's dark in there, brother. <laughs> I mean, like, really dark. She won't be able to get the door unlocked, you know? And then she's gonna freak. She already has. Oh, man. We gotta do something. We gotta... Hey, hi. <laughs> what you know about wires and power and stuff like that? Uh... I know enough. As much as the next guy. Why you asking? Gotta fix the switchboard and get power to room 218. We get the lights on, the kid'll calm down and unlock the door. Then we won't have to break the damn thing down. And maybe Dunning won't kill me for forgetting to lock up in the first place. Sounds good to me. Good man, because I ain't touching that stuff. No way I'm going to get myself zapped. <laughs> You're useless, Lewis. You know that. Yeah, that's what my mother always said. Come on, let's get to the electric room. It's across the hall from my room. room. There it is. What do we have to do? We gotta hit the breaker on the switchboard. <laughs> okay. Let's make a save. I do believe that... This is the puzzle, or one of the puzzles that is a little tricky to do on emulator. I've got something written down here beside me that's going to kind of walk me through the process of doing this, if this is the one that I think it is. So we got to look at this one that has the open panel. And then we've seen this before, but now we can like actually interact with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so we have to turn what the hell am I supposed to do? We have to turn 
if you're playing this on the real Nintendo DS, you have to turn both of these switches on at the same time. So you could essentially use like your first, uh, your index finger and your second uh, finger together and push up on both left and right. But you can't do that emulating because you've only got the one mouse cursor. So let me get my notes here on this puzzle and we'll try to get through it. Just have to bear with me on this. I didn't practice uh, doing this. But there is a way to do it. There's a couple of ways to do it, I think. But let's just try to do what we're supposed to and see what happens. Yeah, when you drag it and let go, nothing happens. So the note here that I found online says, flick the left switch up, but don't let go of the mouse. Keep pressing down. Okay, keep pressing down. Now pause the emulator, so I'm pressing pause. So the game is paused. Then let go of the mouse. So now I let go. Position the pointer over the right switch here. Unpause the emulator and flick the right switch up. Uh, keep pressing down. That didn't work. Because when I unpaused, the first one went down. I'll try this again. Okay, that worked. So I didn't let go. Old man Dunning always used both hands, but... Right. So what I did was, is I hold left, click down, move up. Pause. I'm keeping it held down. I'm unpausing. And now I'm pushing this one up didn't work that time. This is really tricky. It didn't work. We'll get it eventually. Pausing it. Pause the emulator again. Both switches are up now. Position the pointer over the red button in the middle. This one. Unpause the emulator and flick the middle button up. There we go. Got it. So it's not really that difficult. You just have to be precise about where you're interacting with the button. Got it. Nice work, my man. But you do need to use a uh, pause, uh, emulator pause. There's a, uh, when you look in the settings of the uh, key binds or inputs, um, you'll see one in there for pausing the emulator. It should be P, I think, uh, on your keyboard by default. I'll get back to 218. Okay. So I'm going to do a quick save. That took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. I can't quite remember if there's any more um, that are like that. I think that may be the only one. Open the door. Sniff. Put my keyboard down. Okay. What's wrong? The door won't open. I can't.
can't get out, the knob won't turn or anything. Maybe the lock's stuck. Mister, you gotta open the door, please. I'm scared. What should I do? Uh, kick it. Alright, Hyde, you got no choice. Guess I'll give the old wire another try. Oh, he's gonna try to pick the lock again. certain order. Yep, it's no. Or is it timed? Come on, game. Timed. Let me do one. It must be timed. Crap. The hitboxes are really weird. That does not like that. This is interesting. It doesn't help that the hitboxes are so freaking weird. Like the thing is literally behind it. <laughs> Sure, the order it wants me to do it. I think it was just a time thing, it had to be really quick. I don't think there was an order. That's the stuff. But that's the end of the road for you, wire. Get out of here. Hey. Hey, mister. Okay. Hey, kid. Hey, mister. You okay? I was so scared. It was dark and scary, and I couldn't see anything, and I was all alone. Look, I know it was rough back there, but you can quit being scared now. I got the door open. Why the hell did she come in here anyway? I wonder what happened. Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, kid. Your room is down the hallway, isn't it? Did you come in here by mistake or what? Seriously, why are you here? Because I don't want to be with my dad anymore. 
what's wrong. Things aren't going well. Stop being so selfish. You're having a rough time. Yeah. What's going on? My dad's a big liar. All he does is lie all the time. I hate him. He said I could see my mom, but I can't. He lied about my mom. Being locked in the dark room is scary, right? But you know who locked you in there? You did. So there's no use crying about it. You reap what you sow. Reap? That's dumb. What's that mean? A buddy of mine likes to say that. You don't understand that, or you don't understand what it means. Ask your dad. <laughs> No way. Why not? Because he won't know what it means. Hey. Why do you think that? You're wrong. He knows. Why do you think that? Because he doesn't know anything. He said he doesn't know anything anymore. He said he doesn't know where my mom is. And he doesn't know why she went away, either. You and your dad came out here to see your mom, right? Uh-huh. I thought we were going to see her right away, but we didn't. Dad said we gotta stay here until we can see her. Say, kid. Did Dad know this place? You stay here before. First time you've stayed here. Uh huh. She got off the flush. My dad said it was the first time. Mom. Hey kid, tell me that again, will you? Okay, so that was wrong. Dad knows this place. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, he had to look for it on a map and stuff. He kept going, where's Hotel Dusk? Where's Hotel Dusk? So then I asked him what Hotel Dusk was, because he kept saying it. And he said it was where we could go and find it out where my mom went. You want to see your mom, don't you? Yeah. I want you to see your mom, too. Okay. And I'm sure your dad wants you to see her, too. That's not true. Come on, kid. Cut him some slack. But my dad doesn't even know where my mom is. And he lies all the time. I hate him. Dads. Dads. Mom, sniff. Oh. Stop it, stop it, stop crying for Pete's sake. Wipe your face and listen up. <laughs> Let's talk about your mom leaving. Know why your mom left. No, why your dad lied. You're worried about where your mom went, right? Well, your dad's clueless. I'm sure your dad knows. I'm sure your dad has a plan. He's on top of it. Really? Yeah, he must if he's serious about getting you to see her. I guess. Don't up and leave kids. That wasn't her plan. Parents do up and leave kids <laughs> all the time. Something forced her to go. 
And that same something wouldn't let her take you with her. Anyway, that's my two cents. I bet it was, because she was fighting with Dad. My mom and Dad were always fighting. Her parents argued a lot. Only all the time. About what? I don't know, everything, I guess. Dad would always say that it wasn't his fault. Then Mom would say they had to find a way to fix stuff. Then she would cry. That's how it always went. Know why your dad lied? About your mom? He hated to see you sad. He enjoys tricking you. It's because he couldn't stand to see you sad anymore. didn't want to see you cry anymore. <clears throat> That's why he said he'd take you to see your mom. But it was a lie. My mom's not here. Hey, calm down for once. Listen, I know this may sound weird, but sometimes folks lie out of sadness. Huh? Your dad's not the only adult to lie, trust me. Do you lie too? Sometimes. Oh. But when you lie, you usually get caught, and then you gotta pay. Pay how? Even if you think a lie is helping, it usually ain't. Someday that person will learn the truth, and you'll have to look them in the eye. You'll have to see the pain you caused, and that's a hard thing. So I'll make you a deal. No lies from me, okay? Okay. <laughs> What's wrong? I know. I'm not a baby. I know the truth. What do you know? That my mom... That my mom's never coming home. I know you said it wasn't my fault and that my mom didn't leave because of me. But you're wrong. It was my fault. Why do you think that? Because of what I said. I said some really bad things. I told her I hated her and that I didn't need her. Why did you say that? Because they were always fighting. She and my dad were always fighting, and my mom always looked all scary and mad. I told her I didn't need a mom like that. And then, that's why she left. I remember the day she left. She told me my dad was going to take me to school that day. I asked her why she wasn't going to drive me, because she always did. But she didn't say anything. She just looked really sad. So I got in my dad's car and looked back at the house while we were driving away. And my mom was looking out the window and watching us. She was crying. She was looking at me and crying. She was gone when you came home. Uh-huh. Look, stop crying. Crying's not gonna bring your mom home. Get back to your room. Your dad'll be worried. <laughs> Melissa left the room. Wonder why Melissa's mom hit the road. 
Sounds like there was trouble in paradise. Okay. Look at our stuff here real quick. I think we've met any new characters. I think we've pretty much met most all of the characters in the game at this point. Most of them, anyway. Just go ahead and make a save. Quick save it. Alright, guys, we'll go ahead and stop it here. And uh, when we come back into the next part, we will uh, search around room 218 to see what we can find. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.